Did you know that dolls create dents with up to 30 meters of interconnected tunnels and up to six entrances? Dents are developed over many generations and are shared by the females to raise their pups together. I'm your host, Romy Casanino, and I'm a conservation scientist, writer, and photographer. Every week, we'll be introducing you to new animals caught on camera traps around the world. Don't forget to subscribe to Manga Bay so you don't miss our next episodes. The doll is a canid native to Central, South, East Asia, and Southeast Asia. In Central Asia, they primarily inhabit mountain areas, whereas in India, Myanmar, China, and Indonesia, they prefer forested areas in alpine regions. These dogs like open spaces and can often be found in jungle roads, riverbeds, and clearings. Other names for the species include the Asian wild dog, Indian wild dog, whistling dog, red dog, and mountain wolf. Dolls weigh around 15 kilograms and have a reddish fur and fluffy tail with a dark brown tip. The doll is a highly social animal, living in large clans of up to 40 individuals, but usually consisting of only 12. They live in clans rather than in packs, as the latter term refers to a group of animals that always hunt together. In contrast, doll clans frequently break into small groups of three to five animals to hunt. Dolls are far less territorial than wolves. Pups from one clan can join another once they mature sexually. Unlike other canids, there is no evidence of dolls using urine to mark their territories. When urinating, especially males, may raise one hind leg or both to result in a handstand. Handstand urination behavior is also seen in bush dogs, and it is believed to be an effort to cover the urine left by bigger dogs at higher positions. In some areas, dolls are sympatric to tigers and leopards. Competition between these species is mostly avoided through differences in prey selection. However, on some occasions, dolls may attack tigers or steal leopard kills. Leopards may kill dolls if they encounter one alone or in a pair. As dolls rely on sight for hunting, they rarely hunt during the night, except when the moon is out. In contrast to wolves, dolls do not howl or bark. They produce whistles resembling to the calls of red foxes. They also do other sounds that include whines for soliciting food, growls for warning, and scream as alarm calls. Dolls are listed as endangered by the IUCN, as populations are decreasing and are estimated at fewer than 2,500 adults. Factors contributing to this decline include habitat loss, loss of prey, competition with other species, persecution due to livestock predation, and disease transfer from domestic dogs. Next week, we'll be meeting an antelope that is part of one of the world's biggest migrations. Tell us in the comments if you know what animal it is. See you next week.